So Bill, where were you when you got the letter that said, dear citizen of planet Earth? I was uh, working as an engineer in Seattle uh -huh, uh -huh. At, uh, at Boeing. It was a paper letter. Came yeah, it was a paper letter. Opened it up. I thought, that's cool. Great respect for Dr. Sagan. Because I didn't feel like it was very personal. <laughs> it says, dear citizen of planet Earth. And I said, this is not to me. Neil Tyson. This is to, at the time, four billion people. I love what they call people when they're from places, you know? Right. If you're Boston, you're a Bostonian. Boston. New York, I'm a Washingtonian. New Washingtonian. I'm a New Yorker. And there's some weird ones. I'm like, a Los Angelian. Yeah, Lo Los Angelino. And then if you're like from Saturn, you're Saturnian. Saturnian. Jupiter, you're Jovian. Jovian. Now, I'm very hopeful mm -hmm. that in orbit around Jupiter, in orbit around the Jovians, will be the Europeanians. No, they'll be the Europeans. It's gotta be. I want a European. No, 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 no. Europeans, Europeans. are over there. I mean, you can fly there in a conventional airplane. People always say, well, what's the name of Earth? Because Earth does have a name. It's not Earth. Terra? Terra, yeah. yeah. And, and the so, moon? Got a word? Uh, lunar? L Luna? Luna. I don't mind being an Earthling. Mm -hmm. Do you want to be an Earther? Do you want to be a Terran? You want to no, be a no, I want to be a Terran. A Terran. Terran, Terran feels Terran. good. Terran. And if you're moon, you're a lunatic. Yeah. You're a lunatic. <laughs> Do you realize if you cover up Saturn, it's like our logo? While we're busting chops. What? I'm trying to watch the new Cosmos. Yeah. Okay, and I saw I've the heard original. Of that one. Yeah. I think I was in that one. In Cosmos, it says, what is our cosmic address? New York City, New York, United States, Earth, Sun, but, but it was like you had written a paper letter on an envelope, writing with a pen. But now it would be New York dot New York dot USA dot Earth dot solar system um, dot yeah, at Cosmos. Um, yeah, and that really threw have me to, off. It would have to be an older, email style. Yeah, it was an older reference lost, I think, of many of the it younger threw you off. It did not throw you off. I'm a mess. Even Look at me. Just I used to be taller. Yeah, you went through, <laughs> through counseling. <laughs> I first met this guy on the board of the Planetary yeah. Society. 1997, I believe. Was that when it was? So my predecessor, Lou Friedman, asked me to be on the board. I was quite <gasps> choked up, taken aback. And then shortly thereafter, he asked you to be on the board. Yeah, and yeah. We, we crossed paths. And we've become best friends. And it's so great. I love you, man. The reason we explore space. If in our lifetime, we could find evidence of life on another world, and the two logical places to look are the planet Mars and then this moon of Jupiter, Europa. I'm with him on that. If that were discovered, it would change the course of human history. Every well, biologists day. would finally have another example of life mm -hmm. rather than pretending that they have actual biodiversity here on Earth when all life they've ever studied has DNA in common with one another. Does life need liquid water? Does life have metabolism? Does life need this? Is, is, is a virus alive? Is, is crystal alive? They're asking these questions because they don't have seven examples of life. So if you how had, would no, I'm talking. If you had seven <laughs> examples of life, you could say, here's what they all have in common. And this that uses liquid methane, it uses liquid water. So liquid water is not important. It's just that it has a liquid. Or what if they all have liquid water? Then you got good argument. If they all have DNA, now you can talk about what life is so and what's that's not. That's the question. That's all I'm saying. We have done an analysis, it seems quite reasonable, that just keeping the NASA funding just growing with inflation, we could have humans orbiting Mars in 2033. I will add that whoever is orbiting Mars in 2033 is in middle school today. That's pretty cool. Working together, I claim we can, dare I say, change the world. <laughs> Cut.